Look, I got it. As soon as I posted my initial video on how to be able to play Steam games on your Quest 2, literally a week later, Virtual Desktop came out with an update that no longer required side quests at all. A lot of people really liked letting me know this. Hey, I'm Adam Bombadi, and I create tutorials on how to be able to live stream and record VR. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to be able to play Steam VR games on your Quest 2 using both Airlink or Virtual Desktop. As with the last video though, some things are still the same. I cannot stress the importance of having a PC that is considered above the minimum specs for VR, because not only are you going to need to play the game in question, but you're also going to need to stream it to your PC, similar to how Google Stadia and GeForce Now works. These methods aren't going to work miracles as far as suddenly being able to make your computer able to play Steam VR games. That's just not how it works. So if you did buy a Quest 2 because your PC can't handle VR and you want to be able to play Steam games, you're going to have to upgrade your parts. Uh, this solution isn't going to fix that. Also, the same general practices apply, such as making sure that your computer is connected to internet via Ethernet to your router, and that you aren't using Wi-Fi only on your desktop. You'll need that higher speed and stability to get this to work as flawlessly as possible. Make sure that you have at least a 5 GHz connection and that your Quest is connected to it. If you're having issues with poor performance or choppiness, try playing as close to your router as possible with minimum physical objects and barriers in the line of sight. So anyway, here's the updated video, which is easier and faster. Although note, if you are interested in learning how to set up your account and your Quest 2 to be able to use SideQuest, that video is still valid for that, but I am going to be doing an update on SideQuest stuff in the future too. Recently-ish in Oculus Update version 28, they added AirLink, or the functionality to be able to connect to your computer wirelessly from your Quest 2. First, we want to make sure that you have a couple of things checked off before getting AirLink to work. On your Oculus desktop app, make sure that you are on version 28 or above and that you have the AirLink option enabled. You can double check this by going to Settings, Beta, then enable AirLink if it's not already. Also note that the Oculus desktop app must remain on in order for your Quest to connect with it. After confirming that your headset is also on version 28 or higher, you can check this from the About section. Go to your system settings, then under Experimental Features, you should find AirLink. Toggle on to activate it. You'll get a pop-up that allows you to pick from a list of devices to connect to, select your computer, then you'll be sent to the Oculus desktop interface in your headset. If you need to make adjustments to bitrate or to quit AirLink and return back to your Quest Home, you can use this far left button on the lower panel here. Once here, you can launch Steam and Steam Games by going to the app section in the dashboard. Note that if you have any other PC VR headsets plugged in, you probably will have to temporarily unplug them as Steam VR may default to that headset instead. Virtual Desktop gives you a lot more performance settings than AirLink, so you know you're paying for quality. If you'd like a comparison between Virtual Desktop and AirLink, check out this video that the amazing Cass and Sherry did to help you decide which may be the best method for you. First, you're going to want to purchase Virtual Desktop from the Quest Store, currently going for $19.99. You're also going to need to download and install the Desktop Streamer app from vrdesktop.net and connect your Oculus username to it. You're going to need to have the Streamer app on your desktop open whenever you want to use Virtual Desktop, as this will be how it sees your computer from your Quest. Open Virtual Desktop in your headset and you should see your computer pop up to connect to. Once connected, from now on, whenever you launch a Steam game that you want to play in your Quest, do it from inside Virtual Desktop by either launching Steam VR, then the game, or just by launching the game itself. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to go with AirLink or something like Virtual Desktop. Do you have a preference? Let me know in the comments below. The new Live Community Manager role has kept me very busy lately, so I apologize for not being able to post more videos in a timely manner. But know that you can follow me on Twitter. You can also hit that join button on YouTube or become a patron for access to weekly content creator tutorials, just like all of these lovely fine folks which are going to be scrolling past my face here. As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.